squats without totally frying your legs. So here we are sitting back down and we're gonna work a little bit again, crossing midline is one theme. And of course, obliques always involve spine, right? That, what am I saying? So here we are, sit down, pull the sits bones back, find your, oh yeah, I've been here already today. I'm, I'm sitting tall on my pelvis and maybe I'm, I'm activating the pelvis to come a little bit more forward actually, which is quite a lot of work for the belly and for the hip flexors. We're going to start to roll a little bit back anywhere with your arms. And we're gonna roll back, we're gonna roll up again. Right there. So if we're starting with our little pelvic tilts that are actually half roll downs. You've already been here before too, right? I mean, you can see that you keep going what you're doing, but we've been already here, right? Same idea. It's always, there's only a couple of basic moves that we have and we can make them a million different variations, but our basic moves always stay the same. So you do whatever feels good, right? You go as far, you can go all the way, right? Or you can do it as little as you want. Checking in, am I keeping my head, neck and rib cage relationship? Or am I lifting my chin? That's one option, right? Or am I arching my back to come back up? Those are the two big, we want to avoid, two big things we want to avoid. Because if my chin lifts first, guess what's working? The back of my neck. And if my ribs lift first, what's working is the back, the lower back. And those are two things, they already do all the work all day. We, we don't want that. So let's do one more time. Maybe you'll roll all the way. I'm going to go all the way just because it feels nice to lie on the back and then we'll come one more time up or come for wherever you went to. We're adding our oblique turns. So here we are, easy elbows, easy shoulders. We don't want to be, just become aware if you're holding a lot in your, sh and it's us, you know, we all do hold more tension in our shoulders and necks than we should. Probably so we're rolling back and we're going to turn. Imagine you're holding a puppy and you're just turning easy. You're just turning easy, holding something very precious. Maybe you're holding a pillow, like nothing too heavy, right? You're just moving and crossing midline with your arms which means you're turning from your obliques, you're crossing midline with your ribs. Come back to center and then slowly come up. Very good, nice. Let's do that again. So midline meaning nose, sternum, pubic bone, right? The moment we cross, we're right in our core here, in our oblique core. So we're slowly rolling back and you can make this the littlest rollback, really. We're gonna turn, we're gonna hold something super light, no shoulders, and then very slowly turning back to center. As you go back to the left, check in what's happening to your right kidney. Can you keep your right kidney back? Maybe your head turns and looks more over your left shoulder, looking beyond whatever you're holding. And when you go to the right next, you're gonna keep your left kidney more back, turn on your left buttocks, and then your head might turn and look more over your right shoulder, your eyes. Come back to center and come back up. Now you can do this one more time if you want to add a little bit on. I'll, I'm here for that. You're gonna slowly roll back. Now we're gonna really take that arm out. So in a way you're still crossing midline, right? Your right arm is not necessarily going but you're rotating, we're gonna really look at that left hand, easy in the shoulder, make a big circle here. Follow with your eyes, your hand, slowly roll it up. The longer the lever, 
The longer the arm, the longer the leg, the harder the work. We're gonna roll halfway back. Keep your left kidney back. You're gonna turn to the right. Look at that right hand. Right elbow is bent. No work in that shoulder. Lifting the arm a little bit up. Follow with your eyes and come back up. Very nice. Let's do this one more time. Rolling back, turn it to the left. Maybe you, 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 you can play around a little bit with the height of that arm. Feel, can I keep my spine flexed as I lift that arm up? That's really, really hard. And then coming back up, very good. Hip flexor should be talking to you for sure. Last one, rolling back. Keep your left kidney back as you rotate to the right. Shift the ribs maybe a tiny bit more to the right. And then maybe we're playing around a little bit with the height of the arm, right? That's holding it there, breathing it a little more. And then last one, coming all the way back and release. 